Hello everyone, welcome to Move Well, Live Well. Do you have pain in your kneecap or underneath your kneecap? Especially during activities like going up the stairs or running, uh, jogging, that type of thing, even walking, you get pain in the kneecap, particularly underneath the kneecap. If you do, you may have patellofemoral pain syndrome, chondromalacia patella, also known as runner's knee. So stay tuned. In this video, we're gonna show you how to tape for that specifically. Join us, shall you? So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the taping for chondromalacia patella or patello, patellofemoral pain syndrome, where you have pain underneath the kneecap with activity. And typically this is due to a tracking issue where the knee, the muscles are pulling on the kneecap and the kneecap is tracking out of the groove into a lateral type position or towards the outside. So what we wanna do is bring the kneecap back towards the inside in a medial direction. We're gonna pull the kneecap in to bring it back into its normal groove so that it's tracking correctly with activity. And KT tape is going to allow us to do that. So I have one strip of KT tape here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut that piece of tape in half. And the first piece of tape, what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply it from a outside over the kneecap, lateral. So we're gonna start it on the kneecap, pulling it towards the inside. And as you can see, my knee is slightly bent. It's, it's, it's about 20 to 30 degrees of flexion here. So I'm not fully straight and I'm not all the way bent at 90. I got about a 20, 30 degree um, bend in my knee as, I, as she's doing this, Dr. K is doing this here. So I'm going ahead and tore, tear the paper backing off the tip there. And then I peel that back a little bit just to give me the paper to hold on to. Here is his kneecap. So we're starting on the kneecap just like that, laying that part down without any stretch. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a 70% stretch on the tape, pulling from lateral to medial, laying that tape down with the stretch. And then the end, the tip, we're gonna do no stretch and wrap that behind. And I can already feel, I can already feel this tape pulling toward the inside part of my uh, leg and thigh. So it's allowing for the patella, the kneecap, to pull over into its normal groove where it's supposed to be tracking with activity instead of being pulled this way and not tracking properly and thus causing pain underneath the kneecap with activity. So with our second half strip, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tear across the middle and bring that paper back to help us hold on to the edges there. And KT tape is unique in that it activates with activity, with heat. So that's why it's so great for activity for our runners, our athletes that are having these kinds of problems to utilize this tape in order to increase blood flow into the area while providing support and decreasing pain. So this piece we're gonna provide or apply without any stretch just right here at the edge of the piece that we've already applied that's going across. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna provide the stretch. I'm gonna provide the stretch on the edge and I'm gonna wrap up into a round semicircle, again, pulling from the outside towards the middle up onto Dr. Will's thigh with the top piece. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the bottom piece. So we're almost making a C. And again, I'm providing about a 70% stretch and then laying the end flat, just like that. And you can see it makes a C around the outside or the lateral side of the kneecap. And then we're gonna have Dr. Will kind of step up and see, move that, how that's feeling. So that. yeah, as you can see here, the idea again, uh, we can't emphasize this enough, is that with 
chondromalacia patella or patellofemoral pain syndrome, runner's knee, the issue is that the kneecap wants to track this way. Uh, that's the typical presentation. It wants to track this way. So it comes out of the groove and starts banging on all the fem femoral condyles. And, and it's, it's, dis uh, it's basically kind of making the cartilage under the kneecap softer. So it's tracking this way. And if you can see the tape, the idea is to bring it the opposite way. So what Dr. K, how she taped it here, she's taken the first one, taking it here from lateral to medial. And then she's making a, she made a nice C shape here on the outside part of my kneecap right here to basically block it from going this way. You want to keep it going this way. So as you can see, if you can see, I'll go a little closer. You can kind of see how they, how she did that. Nice C shape right in through here. Just like that. And once you've applied KT tape, you want to go ahead and just rub that down and activate that adhesive so that with activity, we're warming it up, making sure it's a good adherence to the skin. That activates that heat and then it'll continue to activate more as you go about and do your activities. But that just assures that, you know, the edges stay down like we want them to. And that's your taping for KT tape for chondromalacia patella or patellofemoral knee pain syndrome. I'll get another close up here, guys. So again, you're starting off with this strip right here, right on the kneecap, and you're bringing it from lateral to medial. So from the outside inward, because it wants to go this way. So you kind of try to make it go that way. And then you're gonna block it right here with this C-shaped taping that Dr. K did. And it feels really, really nice. Now I don't have any, I don't have any patellofemoral pain syndrome or chondromalacia patella, but we want, we got a number of patients that come in here with this issue. So we wanted to do a quick video to make it specific for them, how they can tape it at home. Uh, we got a, uh, Dr. K's got a marathon runner and um, I have a patient currently, she's <clears throat> A little girl is playing uh, softball, and uh, when she's running, it's causing her problems underneath the kneecap. So, anyway, this is how you do it. So, lateral to medial, and then the C shape right in through here to hold it. So that way it doesn't track, it doesn't track the wrong way, which is that way. You want to keep it going towards the medial side. Anyway, if you have any questions with this video, drop it off the comment section below. We thank you for watching, we appreciate it. And uh, if you're new to this channel, hit subscribe. And when you hit subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notification button uh, because that'll keep you in the loop with subsequent videos coming here in the near future. That way you can continue to move well and live well. Also, give us a like, give us a thumbs up. It lets us know you care. And I know you know people who run or are active and they're having pain underneath their kneecap Share this with them. That way they can benefit from this video and they can know how to treat their chondromalacia patella at home, patellofemoral pain syndrome or runner's knee. Also, we're gonna put, uh, we're gonna put uh, in the description below a link to our other videos uh, regarding chondromalacia patella too. Also a way to tape your knee, a general way to tape your knee for any kind of knee issue. But this one is specific for chondromalacia patella. So anyway, we thank you for watching. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.